Hey guys, I'm Drew the Helium Noob. Thank you for watching my videos. Today I wanted to touch base on how to determine if your antenna is legal. This is a very hot topic right now. But before I jump in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on, on the alerts. That way you can get all the content as I release it. I have a lot of good information and links posted on my website, heliumnoob.com. So go ahead and check that out. Please show your support through using my affiliate links. And if you really like my content, please consider donating to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's go noobs. All right guys, so a couple days ago I did a video on how to calculate signal loss. Um, this morning when I woke up I noticed a comment and I actually thought it was a pretty good comment, right? So user said, so you're, you are telling people that they are allowed to run an outdoor 8 dBi antenna. The default setup with the 3 dBi antenna is already maxed out for legal use. Now keep in mind guys, it's never my intention to tell you what you can and can't do. Um, and I would never tell you to do something illegal intentionally. So before you install any of this equipment, please do your due diligence and make sure that the equipment that we're talking about is actually legal in your area. If it's not, then then we need to try to find an alternative, okay? So again, I'm not here to, to try to tell you to do something illegal. Um, but when I read this comment, I took the constructive criticism side of it and I said, hey, you know what, that's a great idea. Let's shoot a video on is your antenna legal? So let's see how we do that, okay? So let's jump in. Now in the United States, I, I, just, I just wanna preface this. I'm in the United States, okay? So in the United States, we are regulated by the FCC. They are the governing body when it comes to this. So what does the FCC say, okay? The FCC allows three ISM bands, industrial, scientific, and medical equipment for unlicensed communication equipment. Now those three bands are listed here. We're, for our devices, we're in that 902 to 928 megahertz. We're at 915, right? So this is the band that we fall under. So I'm not gonna talk about these two too much. But again, these are for unlicensed communication equipment, which is basically what we're all using when we're mining um, with these hotspots, okay? So let's take a look, right? The use of these bands is regulated by part 15 of the FCC rules. Part 15 is Maximum transmit output power in the ISM bands, summary states, one, maximum transmitter output power fed into the antenna is 30 dBm, okay? And number two, maximum effective isotropic radiated power, or the EIRP for short, is 36 dBm. So these are the two regulations that we have to make sure that we're following, okay? Now, how do we determine this, right? So they do offer a calculation to help us determine this. So your EIRP is your transmit output power, now this is from the device, plus the antenna gain from the antenna, minus the signal loss that you experience with the cable going to and from these two devices, okay? So we wanna take this plus this minus that. And just to kind of recap, the total EIRP must be under 36 to be legal, okay? So here's the three different inputs that we need to figure out in order to do this calculation. But where do we get them? So the transmit output power, that's gonna come from the device manufacturer specifications, as well as the antenna gain. That's gonna come from the antenna manufacturer specifications. Now with signal loss, there's actually a calculation that you have to do. Um, I have a link on my website, heliumnoob.com, that is actually takes you right to a calculator that does this for you with just a couple few inputs. Okay, so we'll go through that and, and show you how to do it. Okay, so again, here's our, um, here's our calculation, right? So let's jump out and get transmit output power. Now keep in mind that this by itself can't be more than 30. Okay, so let's jump over to heliumnoob.com and under here, I got a link right to the Rack Hotspot Miner. So we're gonna click that. It takes us out to Rack's website. Now, if you're not using the, the Rack Hotspot Miner, um, if you go to the manufacturers on the other miners' websites, uh, excuse me, the manufacturers' websites for the other miners, if you scroll down, there will be similar information somewhere, okay? But on the Rack's website, if you scroll all the way down, there's Rack, Rack Hotspot Miner data sheet. So let's click on that. And this is gonna give you all the specifications for the miner, um, for the Rack Hotspot Miner V2, right? So let's jump down. 
Um, under features, it's going to show you right here, the transmit power up to 27 dBm. Now the way that you read that is power up to, right? So that means the max that this is going to put out is 27 dBm. Now if you remember, we got to be under 30 just for the transmit output power. So this meets that regulation. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to sell it to us, right? So let's jump back over to the calculation. Okay, we got 27 dBm as far as our transmit output power. Now let's jump to the antenna gain. Now this one's actually pretty simple, right? In the description for these items, antenna gain, it usually just says it's an 8 dBi antenna or a 5.3 dBi antenna or, you know, a 3 uh, dBi antenna. So that is the next number that we're going to fill in here, okay? So in my case, I'm using an 8 dBi antenna. So I know that those that that's, that's what I'm going to be, right? So now let's do signal loss. Now I did a whole video on signal loss. Um, but I'm going to do the quick version here. So if we jump back over to heliumnoob.com, um, under step one, it's going to say cable loss calculator. If you click on that, shoot you over to a website. Now, again, you can find this calculator just by Googling. I don't get paid to send you here. Um, I just put it there for ease of use, right? Okay, so select cable. LMR 400, that's what I'm using. So you're going to pick the cable that you're using. Your frequency in the United States, it's 915. Depending on where you're at, it may be different. And your run length, uh, mine would be 10 foot. I'm running a 10 foot cable from my miner um, to my antenna. So let's calculate that. And this is gonna show you over here on the right hand side that you have um, max insertion loss of 0.5 dB, okay? So once again, jump back to the calculation, add that there. All right, so we know we got 0.5 dB signal loss. So now it's just a matter of doing some simple math, right? 27 plus 8 minus 0.5 is going to equal 34.5 dBm. Now, if you remember two things. One, your maximum transmit out power by it, output power by itself can, can be 30. We're at 27. So there's one check mark, right? The other regulation is that the total of this calculation for EIRP has to be under 36. So us being at 34.5 means that we are good to go. So again, the regulations might be a little bit different where you're at. You might have to do some homework and figure out what that is. And if they use a different calculation, you're gonna have to use a different calculation. But this is how we would do it in the United States. Um, and it's just a good, good piece of information for you guys to figure out, hey, is your antenna legal? So once again, I wanna thank you guys for watching Helium Noob. Don't forget to find me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button so you can get all my content. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.